Hi friends, I thought I'd do a video on what to carry in your backpack in Apex Legends Season 7 and how you could structure your backpack to help you win games. I was having a good think about it and I really think the way you structure your backpack and what you carry in your backpack can really make a difference to how you loot in the game and this can actually help you win more games. So I tend to carry the same things in my backpack depending on the time of the game and where we are in the ring. I'll share these tips with you and hopefully they'll help you really think about what you're carrying in your backpack and how you can organise it in the games that you play. Let's start by looking at the start of the game and I always try to have the top row of the backpack full of ammo. It's best to stack more ammo for faster firing weapons that use more ammo. So for example, if you have an R99, you're probably going to want more stacks of light ammo than if you have a wingman. It's also quite a good idea to think about your weapon pairings from an ammo and backpack perspective. So for example, if you've only got a small backpack, you might want to consider pairing a faster firing weapon like an R99 or a Vault with a weapon that doesn't need so much ammo, like a wingman or perhaps a sniper. So actually it's also good to select your weapons based on your backpack size and the types of ammo and the amount of ammo that you have. So that's ammo in your backpack. Always try and keep your top line in your backpack, whatever backpack you, size you've got, try and keep it full of ammo. Now let's look at what else you can carry in your backpack. For this, I feel it depends where you are in the ring. So for example, if you're far from the ring and you've got a long way to go to get into the ring and the circle's coming in, then it's worth carrying a full stack of syringes and a stack of two medkits as well. However, if you're already in the ring, then I always find you don't really need so many meds. So I'd actually just suggest carrying one stack of four syringes, just in case, you know, just in case you lose a bit of health or just in case the ring changes and you need some backup syringes. But I would say then you can focus on shield cells and batteries. So if you're inside the ring, try not to think so much about health and meds. Try and focus more on shield cells and batteries for the remaining slots in your backpack. One other thing to think about is actually keeping Phoenix kits instead of med kits. So for example, instead of having one stack of two med kits, I will just use that slot for a Phoenix kit because then that gives you one full heal of health, but also one full heal of shields. And I find that more useful than keeping med kits. And I tend to do that particularly if I'm inside the ring already or not too far from the next ring. Likewise, if it's really early on in a ring, and this is perhaps the first ring, the first zone that's coming in, then again, I might keep a Phoenix kit because you'll still be able to crack a Phoenix kit in time if it's the first zone. In terms of grenades, again, this depends on the size of your backpack and which legend you are. If you're Horizon, I would always say at least carry one grenade or Thermite or Arcstar, one throwable basically, because throwables are so useful for Horizon's ult. If you've got a bigger backpack, then definitely try to carry more throwables, so maybe save an extra few slots for throwables if you're Horizon in your backpack. But for other legends, I would say if you've got no backpack or a grey backpack, then maybe try not to think about throwables, focus on ammo, heals and shields. Then if you get a blue backpack or a purple or even a gold backpack, then it's probably worth carrying at least one throwable. But definitely if you're other legends and you've got a small grey backpack or no backpack, try and focus on ammo, heals and shields. Don't worry too much about throwables, particularly early on in the game. I know they're useful, but really backpack space is at a premium when you don't have one or when you've got a really small backpack. I would also say it can be useful to judge which weapon loadouts you want to carry to the end game and this can help you manage the slots in your backpack. So for example, if I find an L star early on in the game, I would pick it up and I would know that I would immediately swap it for a vault whenever I see one. So that means if I come across an extended energy mag, I would be willing to use up one backpack slot to carry that extended energy mag. So always think ahead and think about what weapons you might want to carry to the end game, even if you don't have them right now, then it can be worth using a backpack slot to stack up an extended energy mag or even a stock or a barrel stabilizer. It can also be good to find weapons that can carry attachments for you and ammo. So for example, if you want to use the R99 in the end game, then you would perhaps pick up an alternator to carry the attachments. That means they're not taking up space in your backpack and you still have an okay weapon, but really you're using it as an attachment carrier for the weapon that you really want. So again, that's another little tip of how actually you can save backpack space by using weapons that you find to carry attachments for you. Overall, I would say managing your backpack in a structured way can really help improve your gameplay. To start with, it helps you speed up how and what you loot and you don't spend ages looking at your inventory trying to think, 
What should I keep? What should I get rid of? If you have a strategy for maintaining your backpack as you go into each game, you know most of the time exactly what you want to pick up and what you want to drop. This will make it quicker for you when you're repositioning, quicker for you to rotate to the ring, and this should really help you pick up more kills and survive longer in games. And if you see through my games, my backpacks are very similar based on where I am in the ring. You'll find my mixture of meds and ammo very similar. I hope these tips were useful for you. Keep a lookout for my video coming on the 24th of December. I promise you it's going to be a great Christmas special for you, so I hope you really like it. For now though, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you later.